Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on Pika Labs, a free platform for generating AI videos. My name's Zach, and today I will be your guide through all the basics you need to know to start using it in just a few minutes. To generate videos with Pika, you have two options, the Pika website and the Pika Labs through the Discord platform. The first one, also called Pika.art, is a dedicated website where you can privately create videos and apply professional effects like exploding or inflating objects with no effort at all. But this requires a paid subscription plan after its trial period or in case you need commercial use. If you were not interested in commercial use or in these special effects, Pika Labs is a very valid alternative, which allows straightforward video generation through textual commands, and it is completely free to use without any limitation. This is the platform we are going to see in this video. To access Pika Labs, use the link provided in the video description and associate it with your Discord account. Once done, you will be part of the Pika community with 10 public channels you can use to generate videos or see the experiments from other people. If you want to generate privately, search for the Pika bot in Discord, right-click on it, and select Message. The Pika bot creates videos from textual prompts with the Create command. Type Create at the bottom, followed by the description of the video you want, then hit Enter to generate it. Each video is 3 seconds long by default, and this length cannot be extended. Below the video, you get several buttons. Use the thumbs up or thumbs down to give feedback to the bot on the result. Click on the Regenerate button to retry with the same prompt and inputs, as each generation takes random parametric values. You can use the Remix button to edit the last prompt for a new generation. If you no longer need the video, you can also delete it, but consider that this action is permanent. To improve the results of your video generations, focus on specific prompts, describing the subject, the environment, the mood, and the actions that should take place. Also include details about weather and lighting, and ask for a particular style to use, such as cinematic, anime, or 3D animation. Avoid describing complex movements or subjects that may present text, since this is not generated correctly yet. To download a video, use the dedicated button in the top right corner. Videos are saved in MP4 format with a variable resolution of approximately 1100 by 640 pixels at 24 frames per second. Up to now, Pika Labs does not include options to upscale the video, nor extending its length from the basic 3 seconds. All videos generated come with a watermark in the bottom right corner and are intended for non-commercial use. If you need videos without the watermark, or with commercial use, consider shifting to the main Pika website, eventually with a paid pro license. You can also generate videos from a reference image. Type the Animate command. Then browse for an image in JPG, PNG, or GIF format. Press Enter to launch the generation right away, or press Tab three times to add an additional prompt. This prompt shall not describe the image itself, but indicate who or what is moving, and the kind of motion that shall not be too far away from the reference image. The resulting video begins with the reference image as the first frame and applies the described motion to create the animation. For the best results, avoid using images that appear blurry or have text and logos. The more the motion described matches the reference image content, the smoother and better the video generation will be. To further refine and control your video generation, 
you can add several parameters at the end of the prompt description of the create and animate commands by typing a hyphen followed by the parameter name. For example, the AR parameter allows you to define a custom aspect ratio through width, colon, height, and pixels. 2K and 4K resolutions cannot be achieved as the video generated will be always limited to the maximum size of around 1100 by 640 pixels. In case you use images as reference, make sure to use aspect ratios which are close enough to it, otherwise the video will result distorted. By adding a space gap, you can add other parameters in series, for example, FPS to customize the desired video frames per second from the default 24 to 12. The motion parameter sets the motion strength of the video with levels from 0 to 4, with 1 as default value. A higher value increases motion intensity and speed on the generation. You can also move the camera with the camera parameter, which supports several options. Use zoom to zoom in or out. Pan to move the camera right, left, up or down. And rotate to rotate the camera clockwise by typing CW or counterclockwise with CCW. Camera effects like zoom, pan and rotate cannot be combined in a single command but shall be used once per launch. This camera parameter can significantly enhance the quality of the resulted generation, so consider to use it often. With the GS parameter, you can set the guidance scale, such as how closely the AI must adhere to the prompt description. It starts with a default value of 12, but can be increased up to 24. Add the negative parameter to define negative prompts, in order to exclude specific elements you do not want on the generation. The seed parameter is very useful to control the randomness of the generations. Every time you launch a prompt, even with the same description and parameters, the result will vary, as a random seed number is assigned to each generation. You can check the seed number by simply downloading the video and reading its file name. If you copy the seed number and add it as a parameter in a similar prompt of the original generation, the new video will be similar to the original one in style and subject. In Pika Labs, you can use advanced commands to generate videos based on text or logo shapes. With the encrypt text command, you can input a short text as message, followed by a prompt description to generate the video. This way, you get a video that follows the prompt, but contains the message text within it. You can also adjust the text size with size, with values between 50 and 100. And type font to set the preferred text font as well. With the encrypt image command, you apply a logo as message instead of a text word as long as the logo or shape has a maximum of two colors to be used properly. You can also add the W parameter to adjust the weight value up to two in order to set how much the logo shall be visible within the video itself. And that concludes our tutorial today on Pika Labs. Thank you so much for watching, and if you would like to learn more tips and tricks on how to use AI in your work and daily life, then don't forget to check out our YouTube channel and our website linked in the description for the latest guides. Until next time, this is Zach, and I'll see you later.